I need them. Oh, I dropped everything. All of it. Hey guys, Andrea here, back with another video. Today I figured I have not tinted my eyebrows in a while. So I figured I would just hop on here and do that with you guys, show you what I use, how I do it, and maybe you'd enjoy it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I use the Just For Men Beard and Mustache Dye. This isn't something I came up with, I've, I saw this online. It actually works pretty well, you only need a little bit. This box is around between like seven and ten dollars um, and it's lasted me this is the only box I've ever bought and I haven't done this a very many times but I've probably done it at least I don't know six or more and I have plenty of product left um, I don't know if this is like I'm sure it probably expires but eh, whatever so this is what I use I have the shade light medium brown um, something to note when tinting your brows is that it's always going to be darker the first few days I'm sure most of you know that if you've ever had them uh, professionally tinted or if you've ever done it at home you realize that it's going to be quite dark at least at first so I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you through the process um, inside comes with like this little mixing tray that everything fits in basically the only things I use out of it are the little mixing tray and then there is the um, color base and the color developer so I do about equal parts of these you can see my tubes are still pretty full considering I've done it so many times a little goes a long way I usually end up throwing away half of what I mixed up because I just I always think oh I need a little bit more a little bit more and I I never do so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the color base you can see my tubes pretty pretty nasty but anyway I just pop a tiny little bit into the corner there so you can see not very much at all just a teeny teeny tiny little bit all you need it for is to coat your brows and you're gonna put in just as much of the developer I just put on a little tiny bit more of the developer, but that's all right. I think it'll be fine. Um, I'm not particular, like I'm not extra careful or anything like that. I just go. So I just take, always take the brush that I'm going to be using. And this is an e.l.f. Uh, I Duo brush. I just washed it so it has no powder, no pomade, nothing on it. Um, and then it has the spoolie in too so I can brush my brows up before I get started. So I just take the brush end and just mix it together. And there you have it, it's mixed together. I've got some wipes here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off the tip of my brush, just so that we're starting with a fresh brush and we're not worried about transferring anything from the actual ferrule of the brush. I'm gonna get my handy dandy mirror out here and see how hard this is to do on camera. Oh, something else I forgot to mention, do this with a freshly washed face. I have not even put moisturizer on yet and my skin is like mad at me for it. But do this before you put anything on your face so that the color will adhere to your brows. I always do this right after I shower or in like the evening right after I've cleansed, washed my face before serums, moisturizers or anything like that. Anyway, back to it. So I always just brush my brows up. I've got some weird brows. I've talked about my disdain for my eyebrows before. Um, but they don't really have any real shape. They don't really follow each other much. They're just kind of there. And then I've got like freaking weird long ones that don't, I don't know. I should probably trim them, but I'm scared I would ruin it even more. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and dip into the product just ever so slightly. I'm going to go with the same way that I usually do my brows or that I've been doing my brows lately and start at the tail end. Also, starting at the tail end helps because um, your tail should always be darker than the front part of your brow. And the longer this sits on there, the darker it gets. So I'm just basically drawing in my brow as if I were putting powder or pomade or something on my face right now. And you can see right here, I don't really have much brow hair. But I am still going to go through it with product because it will kind of tint the skin just ever so slightly and give me a look of a fuller brow. P.S. Disclaimer, I am not a professional at all. I just do weird things to my face at home because I'm cheap. Ok, 
Okay, so I got outside of my brow a little bit. I'll show you in just a second what I do at the end. I just mostly want to make sure that everything's coated thoroughly. It would probably help if you like mapped out your brows, but I just kind of go. Remember when I said I'm not a professional? No, because you probably clicked out of the video as soon as you heard those words. I know there's so many people out there that are just cringing right now. Like, you don't have any technique. What are you doing? So once I've laid down the initial color, I will go back in and just kind of make sure everything's where it needs to be. Really, you too. All right, so once I've got the color on there, I just let it sit. How many minutes am I supposed to let this sit? So you're supposed to wait about five minutes. Mine's been on for a couple minutes now, um, and I, I usually don't like time it out. I did the first time, and I guess I feel like it, I can judge pretty good by the look of my brows when it's time to take them off. All right, so it's been on there around five minutes. It's looking pretty dark. You can see, obviously, that it does definitely tint. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a wipe here and wipe it off. I will go, like, wash my face with soap and water after I'm done. But for the purpose of the video, it's just easier for me to wipe it off, show you initial results. Then I'll go get ready, and I'll shoot back in quick and show you what the final result is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and brush through them. Now, you can see that I really don't have hair up in this general region, um, and I just don't. I've always kind of had a little bit of a bald patch there, but you can see where the tint kind of left, just a tiny little bit of a tint on my skin, which will make it easier for me to fill in. This isn't a fix-all. I mean, may I've had it done professionally, and it maybe does tint a little bit darker, or I could have gone in and done this and just really tinted the skin, first of all. But for me, this gives me results that I'm happy with. It's very affordable and easy for me to do at home whenever I think I need to. In fact, I should get back in the habit of doing it more often. So you can see on my brow over here, my trouble spot is more right in this area here and then maybe just a little tiny bit on the top of the arch. Um, I have more hair in through here, still a little sparse, but you want the front of your brow to be a little bit sparse. My brows are just a little bit finicky and picky and that's the way that they've always been. But this allows me to kind of have a little bit more color to them. Have to use less product or just flip in some brow gel real quick and be done. Um, and that's what I like about it. It simplifies my life. It makes my eyebrows look a little bit darker and a little bit easier to deal with. Um, if I didn't want to wear makeup or I just wanted to put a quick swipe of brow gel in, it's not that big of a deal. So that is how I tint my brows at home. I will pop back in and show you the finished look. If you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment down below with anything else you'd like to see and subscribe to my channel if you're new here you know the drill thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you next time